I am Natasha Watley, and this is The American Athlete. You can see someone that looks like you and know that like, well, I can do it too. And if I could be that for a young lady, then I want to be that. My name's Natasha Watley. I am a two-time Olympian, retired softball player, and now currently a softball coach. What drew me into softball was I'm an only child. I grew up wanting to be around anyone who wanted to be around me because uh, I had imaginary friends. So the fact that I could be around other girls, hang out, be active, I had like a lot of energy when I was younger, according to my parents. And so for me, it was just like an outlet. One of my greatest coaches has said that pressure is a privilege, and it really is. Like when you are able to be in those moments and like you are the one that is called on to win this game, like that's a privilege. And I think when you just change your perspective about pressure, I think it just changes the whole game for you. When you start to feel like I can maybe fail in this moment, that's when pressure kind of takes over. But when your perspective changes and you look at it from a different outlook of, I have the opportunity to change this game. And when you start to think about it that way, like it just changes your confidence, the way you carry yourself. I think it's all about perspective and feeling like it's a privilege. Playing the Olympics, I mean, obviously for us, that's our biggest stage in our sport um, for softball, like playing on the Olympic stage. And like, that's definitely what you really, really dream for. And I think for me, the gap was just being a professional. When you're in a college atmosphere, your college coaches, like they create this environment where you're not gonna fail. Like there's just like all these resources that are gonna help you move forward. Once you are on the Olympic team, everything is on you working out and making sure that you are fueling your body and that was a transition. But I think you start to put it in perspective of like what an honor it is to represent your country, the journey to get there, seeing your flag being raised, one of the moments I'll never forget. I never thought that I would play post-college. My heroes, Lisa Fernandez, Laura Bird, Leo, Brian, and Miko, they were in their 30s playing. So I'm just like, well, how are they playing in their 30s? Like, why? But seeing that flag being raised, I understood everything. So with MLB, they have partnered with USA Softball. They've created three programs. It's the Breakthrough Series, they have RBI World Series, and EDI is the Elite Developmental Invitational. With Breakthrough and EDI, their main motive is to give exposure to athletes who would not get exposure at their urban youth academies throughout their different markets throughout the country. They're inviting young ladies, they're coming. For EDI, it's one full week of training with Olympians, national team players, collegiate All-Americans, and I mean, just getting information. And I think that's the biggest thing with these young ladies to let them know again that they matter, that they're enough and here. Here's an avenue, like softball could be that vehicle that can get you where you wanna go and it's just been really fun to be a part of that. What's up, Playball fans? I am going to show you about slap hitting this week. I am not a natural coach at all. I am a hardcore athlete and competitor and I miss it for sure. But I think it's so important. I like just love this game so much that I want it to grow and I want it to thrive and I want to help that next generation. And I think it's important to stay in it and give back. I mean, obviously it is an extreme challenge because you have no control, but I think I love the challenge of it in terms of how much can I prepare this athlete? What can I do to help them get to that next level? And that's starting to, become fun, which it's a, it's a hard thing because I feel like my identity is a softball player, you know? So that's been the hard part, but I do love seeing players get it and I love seeing them stretch themselves and literally just what can they do to uh, get to that next level. 
I think a big misconception is that the sport's not for African-American girls. When I was growing up, I definitely could count on two hands how many women of color you know, were playing, and they were mostly my teammates and friends I grew up with locally. And that would be because you need a lot of money to have a bat, cleats, helmets, gloves, batting gloves, all those things. And I think that's the misconception that I would love to remove. And I think that's what I've been trying to do with my foundation is, you know, this is a sport for everybody. And like, you can find a place for you and you can find a way to contribute to a team beyond having the resources. And I think it is a game for everybody and that's what's drawn me to it, that it is so accepting of however you package and however you come, you can succeed in this, in this sport. And that's what I think, I love softball so much. There's so many different skills that you can be good at. Definitely now across the country, I see more diversity, but we're not where we need to be.